All right, the piece that I have for you guys tonight is really different than what you're used to seeing from me. Today is my four-year divorcery. <laughs> That's right, D-Rod! Congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> I am wholehearted, every part of me. <laughs> All right, this piece is called Icarus, and I'm not sure you're familiar with the story, but it was a boy and his father, and, and his father told him, don't, don't fly too close to the sun. If you do, the wax that I made your wings with, it's, it's going to melt, and, and you're going to plummet the ocean. And, and he did. He flew, and, and he got so enamored with the sun that his wings melted, and he plummeted into the sea. <sighs> so that's this happy piece. On a cerulean day, Icarus, he jumped. He flew onto a, a brilliant sky that he thought he knew, just like I leapt into your arms without a parachute. Neither of us had any idea what we were in for. Because you were 18 and, and I was 19, and because we thought we'd lose each other, and it was frightening. Because I'd, I'd rub your back and I'd sing you to sleep like no one else would ever do. Because I knew that your favorite number was 32 and I could curse in French, Arabic, and Spanish because of you. <gasps> because we threw roundhouses at each other till we were black and blue. Because we'd spend the rest of the night on the green grass kissing it better, get her done style, and then smile like we could resolve all our problems that way until we were wrinkled someday in these creaky hover rocking chairs <laughs> were the only time that we would yell at each other. It's because we're deaf as shit. <laughs> because at least when we heard I love you, we thought we meant it. Because loneliness blows, and everybody knows that 18 plus 19 is 37, which is plenty old enough to settle down in. And we were sure that the ground would rend itself open and swallow us before we'd go to bed pissed, much less list the things we wouldn't stand for and cry ourselves to sleep. Lover, like I just said, we had the important things covered before they could say, hey there, Mr. Hot Wheels, uh, you remember when you said that you wanted to travel the world with a backpack and not a diaper bag? It's true, baby girl. Remember when you said that you wanted to change the world one child at a time? So we traded hearts for circles in front of a bunch of strangers, blind to the dangers inherent in marrying your anti-soulmate just because we could fuck like it was a competitive sport. <sighs> it ended 10 years later, and I'm still pieces of us out of my heart when I'm running to our children's room to explain to children why daddy won't be home soon. How do you explain to a six-year-old that, that daddy, he packed his pack and he, he put it on his back and he took off to Cheyenne because being a grown-up fucking sucked and that, that mommy feels guilty because she thinks she lucked out the day that that door closed behind him. It's just, it's so much easier to change you and your brothers one child at a time now that he's gone. It hasn't been long and the peace in my house is a living thing since my ring line has started fading and, and I haven't even started dating or even kissed anybody in well over two years. Because I have this feeling that, that they're going to taste like him. And I won't recognize it until the wax is running down my wings. Thanks. <laughs>